The 10 Most Beautiful Indian Fish The Indian fish is a freshwater fish that is common in the Indian subcontinent. It is found in ponds, rivers, and lakes, and is typically about 12 to 25 centimeters in length. The Indian fish usually has a rounded body with a small head and a pointed snout. It is light brown in color as well as having a long, thin, tapering tail. Indian fish are very beautiful and colorful. There are many different types of Indian fish, but the most common type is the Indian blue damselfish. These fish are very colorful and can have many different colors on their bodies. The most common colors are yellow, blue, green, and red. However, some Indian fish can have more than 10 colors. Some of these fish have a very long lifespan and can live up to seven years. They also eat mainly algae and waste products. Indian fish are also very hardy, which makes them a good choice for a beginner fish owner. There are hundreds of types of fish in the world, but there are few that are as beautiful as the Indian fish. This type of fish has a lot of colors and eye-catching patterns. There are also many different variations of the Indian fish, such as the blue scale, the rose scale, and the peacock scale fish. These fish are native to the Indian Ocean and have been around for decades. They are often called the living jewels of the ocean. A fish is considered beautiful by looking at its coloration and patterns on its fins, scales, and eyes. Mostly, these colorations help the fish to find its desired mate or to help it blend in with its natural surroundings. Indian fish are mostly found in the river basins, hilly streams, and water creeks. A man called Beta Mahatvaraj who has a Facebook group called Minkaran, regularly visits exotic rivers and water bodies in India, searching for exotic fish and collects more information about these fish found there. He has now vast knowledge about various Indian fish and where they are found. If you want to know more about Indian fish, then you can contact him on his Facebook page. I will drop the links to the page in the description. You can also find there the links to my blog about the top most beautiful Indian fish. Our first fish, the Danio jantianensis, is a species of Danio endemic to India. It is a beautiful small fish from the Jaintia Hills district in Meghalaya. When kept in subtropical conditions, they have a stunning red coloration but will not thrive unless water parameters are perfect. The redline torpedo barb, also known as the denison barb, Miss Kerala, redline torpedo barb, or roseline shark, is an endangered species of cyprinid fish endemic to the fast flowing hill streams and rivers of the Western Ghats in India. It is commonly seen in the aquarium trade and pet collection has caused it to become endangered and remains its single major threat. Our next fish is the crimson loach. As with some of the other species of Schistera, this is a very territorial species that should be provided with numerous hiding places amongst bogwood, plants, rocky caves, and cobbles. When keeping more than one specimen, it is important to create visual barriers between each hiding place. Although quite a shy species, it can be nippy towards its own kind or other similar loaches when defending its territory. Males are particularly intolerant of each other in smaller aquaria. The Kabli barb or Indian Maharaja barb is a species of ray-finned fish in the genus Puntius. It is found in Maharashtra, India. Reportedly, the scientific name of this species has been changed recently by a group of Indian theologists. This species is now placed under the newly described genus Wycomia, which is in the honor of ace Indian ichthyologist Vishwanath Wycom, who has described over 100 species of fish from India. The newly accepted scientific name for the species is Wycomia sahiadrensis. Etroplus canarensis consists of various kitchlid fishes found in Asia. This fish occurs in the oxygen-rich basins 50 kilometers from the mouth of the Netravati. It can live in a variety of water flow rates and turbulences. It can also grow to 100 to 110 millimeters and requires moderately high temperature, pH, and hard water. It usually consumes foods like worms, tube effects, artemia, etc. Certainly a good fish to keep in an aquarium of size 45 to 120 centimeters. You can know more about Etroplus canarensis before keeping it in your aquarium. The cobra snakehead is a species of snakehead fish that inhabits the tropical and subtropical waters of Africa and Asia. It can be found in rivers, lakes, reservoirs, marine habitats, brackish water environments, and even terrestrial areas. 
This predatory fish has a long body with an elongated head and sharp teeth that it uses to eat smaller aquatic creatures. It generally weighs about 2 kilograms to 10 kilograms, but has been known to reach up to 30 kilograms. What makes this species unique is its ability to breathe air at the surface as well as underwater. This allows it to survive in areas where other fish cannot thrive due to the lack of oxygen or water pressure. Cobra snakeheads are classified as a vulnerable species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, because their populations have declined significantly over the past few decades due to habitat loss and fishing activities. So why is this snakehead so important? Apart from being one of the largest freshwater fishes on Earth, cobra snakeheads play an important role in controlling population sizes of invasive aquatic organisms such as carp, Asian tigerfish, and common minnow. These fish have been kept as pets, but as they get larger, people let them go into ponds, lakes, and rivers, making these fish invasive. The next fish is the Muscara barb. Dawkinsia is a genus you might not recognize the name of, but you probably recognize some of the fish that it belongs to. Commonly known as filament barbs, they're found in the rivers around India and Sri Lanka, and prior to the new discoveries, there were nine recognized species in the genus. The most popular species is Dawkinsia assimilis, also known as the mascara barb. Do you want to add a little excitement and color to your aquarium? Then you need to get dwarf gorami. These fish are beautiful and come in all colors, so there's bound to be one that suits your personality. Dwarf goramis are also interesting creatures because they can change their skin color depending on how they feel. So if you see one that looks particularly colorful or refreshing, scoop it up quickly. When it comes to dwarf goramis, there are a few things to keep in mind. The first is that they do need a lot of swimming space and plenty of hiding places. These fish also love to eat live food, so make sure you have plenty on hand if you want one as your pet. Manipurensis barb is a colorful Indian fish originating from the Indian state of Manipur. These fish reach to a size of about 3 to 4 centimeters and is loved by most aquarists who like to keep smaller fish. So an appropriate tank size would be around 20 to 50 gallons with driftwoods, plants, and hiding places if you plan to keep the fish along with other fish. Since it is a small fish, you should keep this fish with fish of smaller mouth that cannot swallow it. The males in breeding stage have wonderful red stripes along the body that also led to the popular name of the fish. You can also distinguish between the gender by iris. The iris of males is bright red, the iris of the female yellowish. The blue baddies lives in Asian freshwater basins and are found in ponds, rivers, ditches and swamps in northern India, eastern Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan and Nepal, including the Ganges, Brahmaputra. Mahanadi and Indus basins. It is a small predatory fish that feeds on tiny invertebrates. Total length is around 8 centimeters. These fish varieties are dimorphic, meaning males are usually larger than females. Males have blue fins and display dark vertical bands on their flanks, while females display lighter color. Native to several rivers in India, including Tumapau River, this fish is native to several rivers in India, including Tumapau River. Other countries where the fish can be found include Bangladesh, Nepal, and Pakistan. The fish inhabits rivers with slow-moving waters that are not only shallow, but wide as well. They enjoy swimming in waters with marginal vegetation, yet turbid with sufficient mud that promotes the growth of certain aquatic plants. For this reason, the fish is unique to India, where most rivers are used for the irrigation of rice and, as a result, are brownish in color. For newbies, it can be a bit overwhelming to think of where and how they should keep their new tropical fish. These few tips will make the whole process super easy. Instead of stressing out about getting a suitable tank and other equipment, just follow one of these steps. First and foremost, only purchase newly caught or grown fish from reliable brands that have proven records on ethical business practices. Second, ask for advice if you need assistance setting up the right environment for your pet. Finally, ensure proper feeding habits are followed by the animal to ensure its health is maintained properly. Check out the other top list videos about the aquarium fish below. Share and like this video if you like it and make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and find more aquarium and fish keeping videos in this channel. See you in the next videos. Goodbye and take care.